a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Cormorant Falac rocaracidae is a family of some 40 species of aquatic birds commonly known as cormorants and shags. Several different classifications of the family have been proposed recently, and the number of genera is disputed. There is no consistent distinction between cormorants and shags, as these appellations have been assigned to different species in these genera at various points in time. Cormorants and shags are medium to large birds with body weight in the range of 0.35 and wingspan of 45. The majority of species have dark feathers. The bill is long, thin and hooked, their feet have webbing between all four toes. All species are fish eaters, catching the prey by diving from the surface. They are excellent divers, and underwater they propel themselves with their feet with help from their wings. Some cormorant species have been found to dive as deep as 45 meters. They have relatively short wings due to their need for economical movement underwater, and consequently have the highest flight costs of any bird. Cormorants nest in colonies around the shore, on trees, islets or cliffs. They are coastal rather than oceanic birds, and some have colonized inland waters indeed. The original ancestor of cormorants seems to have been a freshwater bird. They range around the world, except for the central Pacific Islands. Names no consistent distinction exists between cormorants and shags. The names cormorant and shag were originally the common names of the two species of the family found in Great Britain, Phylacra corax carbo and P. aristoteles. Shag refers to the bird's crest, which the British forms of the great cormorant lack, as other species were discovered by English-speaking sailors and explorers elsewhere in the world. Some were called cormorants and some shags, depending on whether they had crests or not. Sometimes the same species is called a cormorant in one part of the world and a shag in another, and more. The great cormorant is called the black shag in New Zealand. Fantets proposed to divide the family into two genera and attach the name cormorant to one and shag to the other, but this flies in the face of common usage and has not been widely adopted. The scientific genus name is Latinized Ancient Greek from Phi Alpha Lambda Alpha Kappa Rho Sigma and Kappa Rho Alpha Xi. This is often thought to refer to the creamy white patch on the cheeks of adult great cormorants, or the ornamental white head plumes prominent in Mediterranean birds of this species, but is certainly not a unifying characteristic of cormorants. Cormorant is a contraction derived either directly from Latin corvus marinus, sea raven, or through Brythonic Celtic. Cormoran is the Cornish name of the sea giant in the tale of Jack the Giant Killer. Indeed, sea raven, or analogous terms were the usual terms for cormorants in Germanic languages until after the Middle Ages. The French explorer André Thevet commented in 1558, the beak is similar to that of a cormorant or other corvid, which demonstrates that the erroneous belief that the birds were related to ravens lasted at least to the 16th century. Description Cormorants and shags are medium to large seabirds. They range in size from the pygmy cormorant, at as little as 45 centimeters and 340 grams, to the flightless cormorant, at a maximum size 100 centimeters and 5 kilograms. The recently extinct spectacle cormorant was rather larger, at an average size of 6.3 kilograms. The majority, including nearly all northern hemisphere species, have mainly dark plumage, but some southern hemisphere species are black and white, and a few are quite colorful. Many species have areas of colored skin on the face which can be bright blue, orange, red or yellow, typically becoming more brightly colored in the breeding season. The bill is long, thin, and sharply hooked. Their feet have webbing between all four toes, as in their relatives. Habitat They are coastal rather than oceanic birds and some have colonized inland waters indeed. The original ancestor of cormorants seems to have been a freshwater bird, judging from the habitat of the most ancient lineage. They range around the world, except for the central Pacific Islands. Behavior All are fish eaters, dining on small eels, fish, and even water snakes. They dive from the surface, though many species make a characteristic half-jump as they dive presumably to give themselves a more streamlined entry into the water. Underwater they propel themselves with their feet, 
though some also propel themselves with their wings. Some cormorant species have been found, using depth gauges, to dive to depths of as much as 45 meters. After fishing, cormorants go ashore, and are frequently seen holding their wings out in the sun. All cormorants have preen gland secretions that are used ostensibly to keep the feathers waterproof. Some sources state that cormorants have waterproof feathers while others say that they have water permeable feathers. Still others suggest that the outer plumage absorbs water, but does not permit it to penetrate the layer of air next to the skin. The wing drying action is seen even in the flightless cormorant, but commonly in the Antarctic shags and red-legged cormorants. Alternate functions suggested for the spread wing posture include that it aids thermoregulation, digestion, balances the bird, or indicates presence of fish. A detailed study of the great cormorant concludes that it is without doubt to dry the plumage. Cormorants are colonial nesters, using trees, rocky islets, or cliffs. The eggs are a chalky blue color. There is usually one brood a year. The young are fed through regurgitation. They typically have deep, ungainly bills, showing a greater resemblance to those of the pelicans, to which they are related, than is obvious in the adults. Systematics The cormorants are a group traditionally placed within the pelicaniforms or, in the Sibley owl quiz taxonomy, the expanded sycaneiforms. This latter group is certainly not a natural one, and even after the tropic birds have been recognized as quite distinct. The remaining pelicaniforms seem not to be entirely monophyletic. Their relationships and delimitation apart from being part of a higher waterfowl clade which is similar, but not identical to Sibley and Alquists, pansicaneiforms, remain mostly unresolved. Notwithstanding, all evidence agrees that the cormorants and shags are closer to the darters and sullidae, and perhaps the pelicans, or even penguins, than to all other living birds. In recent years, Three preferred treatments of the cormorant family have emerged, either to leave all living cormorants in a single genus, Phylacrocorax, or to split off a few species such as the imperial shag complex, and perhaps the flightless cormorant. Alternatively, the genus may be disassembled altogether and in the most extreme case be reduced to the great white-breasted and Japanese cormorants. Pending a thorough review of the recent and prehistoric cormorants, the single genus approach is followed here for three reasons. First, it is preferable to tentatively assigning genera without a robust hypothesis. Second, it makes it easier to deal with the fossil forms, the systematic treatment of which has been no less controversial than that of living cormorants and shags. Third, this scheme is also used by the IACN, making it easier to incorporate data on status and conservation. In accordance with the treatment there, the imperial shag complex is here left unsplit as well, but the king shag complex has been. The cormorants and the darters have a unique bone on the back of the top of the skull known as the os nucale, or occipital style which was called a xiphoid process in early literature. This bony projection provides anchorage, for the muscles that increase the force with which the lower mandible is closed and this bone and the highly developed muscles over it. The M. adductor mandibuli caput nucale are unique to the families for Lacrocoracidae and Anhingidae. Several evolutionary groups are still recognizable. However, combining the available evidence suggests that there has also been a great deal of convergent evolution. For example the cliff shags are a convergent paraphyletic group. The proposed division into Phylacrocorax sensu stricto cormorants and Leucocarbo sensu lato shags does indeed have some degree of merit. The resolution provided by the MPNA 12 SNA and 8 PASA subunits 6 and 8 sequence data is not sufficient to properly resolve several groups to satisfaction. In addition, many species remain unsampled, the fossil record has not been integrated in the data, and the effects of hybridization known in some Pacific species especially on the DNA sequence data are unstudied. Species in Phylogenetic Sequence this list attempts to follow a phylogenetic order. If the distinction into subfamilies would be upheld, the blue-eyed and related species would probably be the Leucocarbonini, and the groups that follow them the Phylacrocoracini. The first two lineages are basal and cannot be assigned to either subfamily. Basal lineage 1, microcormorants, genus Microcarbo or Haliata. The former genus name would be valid, 
small, short-billed subtropical to tropical marine and freshwater species from the Old World and Australia. They have black feet and almost all lack significant white feathers. They often have a diminutive frontal tuft. Basal lineage 2. Red-legged cormorant. Included in Lucacabo or Stichacabo, Pacific coast of South America. This species apparently has no close living relatives. It has a highly apomorphic color pattern naked red base of bill, red feet, and a white neck spot, and is crestless. It seems to be convergent in some aspects with the Punctatus superspecies. What seems sure is that this species must be placed in a distinct monotypic genus Poikilocarbo in almost any case, if any species are split, from Phylacrocorax at all. Blue-eyed shags and relatives, variously placed in Eulucocarbo, Hypolucos, Leucocarbo, Notocarbo, and Stichocarbo and the monotypic nanoterum. Colon This reasonably well-supported marine clade contains three lineages, one containing American species which are mainly black-footed, blackish-plumaged, and of yellow skin at the base of the bill as well as white display crests behind the eyes and breeding plumage. They occur in marine and freshwater habitats. The flightless cormorant of the Galapagos Islands also seems to belong here. Its wings have been reduced by evolution to a tiny size, it is extremely apomorphic due to its flightlessness. And its plumage is entirely nondescript. If considered a distinct genus, they would give the name Dilophalus or Nanoterum, the old genus of the flightless cormorant. The rock shag from southern South America with red skin at the bill base, pink feet, a frontal crest, and an apomorphic white ear spot. A group of numerous close-knit forms from southern Pacific and subantarctic waters which are white below, with pink feet, but otherwise quite varying in appearance. It contains the king and imperial complexes and the guanai cormorant. Almost all have some amount of white on the upper wing covers, frontal crests, and blue eye rings. The crested shags, with yellow warts in front of the eyes belong to this group. The genus name Leucocarbo sometimes to this group. The following are more accepted in the group. North Pacific shags, spread between Compsa halus and Stichacarbo. If a distinct genus, the former name would apply. A well-supported marine group ranging from the Bering Strait to California. They are black-footed, and have white ornamental plumes strewn about the head and neck in breeding plumage. They tend to have prominent double crests. Common shag lineage, formerly in Compsa halus and Stichacarbo. Black-footed smallish marine shags of Europe and Southern Africa. The bank cormorant is very tentatively placed here. It seems anatomically more similar to the P. fuscens, but the more informative character is the combination of frontal crest and lack of extensive naked skin. At bill base in mid-sized Old World species seem to place it here. If this is correct, they are probably very distantly related due to biogeography. Indian Ocean Group spread between Hypolucos and Leucocarbo and Compsahalus. Hypolucos would be the correct genus name if they were split off, a group of black-footed species occurring in tropical coastal or inland habitat between the Persian Gulf and Australia. Most species are tentatively assigned here, based on the combination of range, crestlessness, size, general lack of naked skin ornaments and the presence of some amount of white feathering in the ear region, at least in breeding plumage. This clade is not too well supported, but this may be, because the two presumed members included in recent research are quite dissimilar. The three unstudied ones are very similar to one or the other, spotted group, placed in Stichacarbo. Indeed, they would be the only members of this possibly distinct genus, a superspecies of the New Zealand region. Peculiarly apomorphic, with yellowish legs, prominent double crests, white ornamental plumes on the neck, a grey belly and spotted wings. Cape Cormorant, sometimes placed in Leucocarbo, highly plesiomorphic among its relatives. A species from the southern coasts of Africa. It is apparently close to the common ancestor of the next group and, perhaps apart from the all-black plumage, looks almost identical to that long extinct bird. True Cormorants. These would be retained in Phylacrocorax no matter how the cormorants and shags are split up. They occur from the Western Atlantic through the Old World into Australia, usually, but not always in marine and temperate, to subtropical habitat. They are characteristic, being large, with white cheek and thigh patches, ornamental plumes in the neck, a yellow naked bill base, black feet, and a shaggy nape crest.
Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?